Now, you know what? We're going to have a chance to, to introduce you to two other people tonight. We've had some very, very hardworking interns. So you're going to see each one of them. They've been behind the scenes this whole week filming us and writing stuff for our website. So we wanted to give them a chance to come on camera. So we'll be back in just one minute. All right, now Bob Field here with Brandon Clack, one of our two great interns from Dayton University, the Dayton Flyers. And Brandon, this is your second year with us down here as an intern, doing a great job. What do you think of this whole setup at Pop Warner Super Bowl? It's great. Um, I mean, they've treated me uh, last year. It was my first year, and I didn't know what to expect. And uh, I came in, and I mean, it was just great. The people here are um, fantastic and help you with anything that you need help with. Um, this year, the football games have been crazy, um, good games. Um, I'm excited to see what happens on Saturday. I tell you, but he's been with us for so long here that he's got the routine down. He knows right when to go and get the coaches' interviews. And Brandon, while you've been out there actually uh, uh, doing some, you did some blogging on one of the games today, mm -hmm. and you also did a lot of, uh, of shooting of various things, everything from the mascot game right down to the coaches' interviews. Tell us about some of the game highlights that you saw this week. Um, the most, the, the, my favorite is the Challenger game. Um, that is uh, the coolest thing. Uh, we brought in a team from California and Florida. Uh, they played, and uh, it's just, uh, it's amazing. Uh, the kids who never thought they'd play football, um, they get the opportunity to play, and it's just great to see the kids smile and root on each other. They don't really know each other, and they still giving high fives and everything. Oh, that's great. And, you know, the interesting thing about that Challenger game is what they do is they play with a buddy system. In other words, they have a local high school or Pop Warner kid who buddies up with them, and everybody gets into the spirit of it, and it's a lot of fun. And, in fact, there were some uh, regulars there, as I remember, and you remember one of them from last year. Um, one of the kids really does know how to kind of get into it with the refs and uh, you knows the entertainment factor, that's for sure. He uh, they uh, announced that he's the uh, all-time most penalized player at Pop Warner history. This uh, is Chris Luttrell, I think. Chris, he's a, he's a funny guy. He's um, always in the ref's face <laughs> complaining, and uh, he always gets penalties called on this. But it's always good-natured, which always is what we love. Nature. Brandon's done a fantastic job for us. He's really learning the biz, doing a fine job. And also, we'd like to introduce you to another stellar intern from Dayton. We'll be right back with you in just a second. With another Dayton Flyer intern, she's done a tremendous job this week, Lindsay Diggs. And Lindsay, you know, an interesting perspective for you is that you've been an athlete down here before. You're playing softball for Dayton, but I understand that you've also been down to the complex as an athlete, correct? Yeah, that is true, Bob. I um, was here um, a while ago, back when I was 12, for 12 U Nationals for softball. It um, was a great experience back when I was here, so kind of bringing back some nostalgic feelings for me um, as an athlete myself. But now getting to have a different perspective, working the event, and getting to see how fantastic uh, what the Pop Warner staff does for these kids. It drives in the whole athletic perspective, which, you know, is good for them, but also drives in the whole academic importance of it, which is really important when you get to college because, yeah, it's great that you're a standout athlete, but you also have to have that academic drive, too, to truly be successful. So I think what we're doing here is really a fantastic thing and really setting these kids up for success, and I think that that's been fantastic. So it's been a great experience so far. Lindsay, one other thing, too. Um, when you looked at this internship opportunity when you came down, you know, you might have had some expectations of it. Um, did things fit up to your expectations? Did they exceed them? What, what do you think? I think so far, things have totally surpassed my expectations. Um, first, starting off with meeting Denard Robinson, um, was not expecting that at all. Um, a Buckeye fan, so kind of had a little bit of apprehension about that, but it was totally fine. He was a great guy, um, really easygoing, uh, really nice. It uh, was great to see him interact with the kids, so that was a truly positive takeaway for me um, from the very get-go. Uh, then getting to do college football awards last night was great, getting to see the kids just light up when they saw A.J. McCarron and Johnny Manziel go down the red carpet was fantastic like I'm really into community relations so getting to see the kids just interact with them and you know yearning to get the players autographs that was so fantastic to see the kids light up and get truly excited about all these players that they look up to and aspire to be like one day so I don't know it's been great like I can't complain about anything yeah another thing that you went to the other night was the Hollywood studio party and actually uh, we kind of hobnobbed with a guy who was a great guy over there too tell us a little bit about that night and some of the people we were with 
Yeah, the party at Hollywood Studios was another great event, um, bringing Pop Warner together, all the kids, all the cheerleaders, um, all the staff. That was fantastic. Uh, getting to meet Gary Bush, uh, the player from Purdue, was fantastic. Another great guy. So another good athlete-to-athlete -athlete interaction for me personally. I know sometimes athletes get a stigma about not really being personable, but that has totally not been the case for any of the athletes that have been here. Um, just really easygoing. Uh, rode the Toy Story ride with him. But he was so easygoing, kind of just went with the flow. Um, very humble, very modest, doesn't really like the spot. Spotlight. So he just kind of blended in really well with our group, you know, talked to the kids, was very appreciative of everything that was going on. So it was great to kind of see that, talk sports with him a little bit, kind of both being athletes and just kind of getting his perspective on a few things as he gets ready to finish off his senior year strong. And, you know, as I'm getting ready to finish going to my junior season, kind of just picking his brain about a few things. And it was a really great experience. And I had a tremendous time with the rest of the Pop Warner staff, too. So it was great. You know, it's interesting. You were talking, Lindsay, about uh, the academic side of Pop Warner and how important that is. It's interesting that the reason why Gary was selected as our college player of the year for Pop Warner is not just for his stellar play as a wide receiver for Purdue, but he also was great in the classroom. And he had a lot of nice things to say about the academic side of things too. And again, what you said as an athlete at Dayton, that seems to be so important. And I think that's something that's heartfelt with a lot of you folks who really do get it as far as the academics. Tell us a little bit more about about that what do you think well, for starters, you can't be a college athlete without having the academics there, period. I think that the main thing is to be handling business in the classroom. That's the biggest thing. Um, that's what coaches are really looking for. It's great that you have skill, and they'll want you for your skill no matter what. Like They're going to be like, oh, he's a great player. But then if you bring another dimension to the table, like being really well-rounded and well-driven in the classroom, that's another dimension that adds to you and makes you more marketable as an athlete, but as a student, too. And that is what really, I think, makes student-athletes more successful, especially Especially at bigger schools like Purdue. Well, now a uh, highlight. Would you? Is there something that you would look at as really a milepost of something that you saw or were involved in this week that kind of stands out? Apart from some of the other things you mentioned. Yeah, I didn't actually expect to help do anything with cheer. And so there were some jobs that I had miscellaneously to help out to get ready for some of the big cheer events that we were having. So it threw me a little bit of a curveball kind of, but it was interesting because I only expected to be doing football. So then to throw me with cheer was interesting, threw me with a challenge, but it was fun. And at the end of it, I think that it benefited the people who are working with cheer and that's all that I'm here to do is help make other people's jobs easier and I think that yes I did it on the football side but then to help do it on the cheer side and alleviate some of the stress on them and make yesterday's event so amazing and um, go off you know a little bit more smoothly that's what I was here to do so to be able to be helpful in that process was probably the best thing I've done under the scene. And uh, many times, you know, interns that we have here, you're in that situation where you need to judge and call that audible, and you guys did a phenomenal job on that. Well, we thank you, Lindsay, and we thank you, Brandon, as well. And uh, we'll, I'm sure, see these folks some more because they're on the road to some great careers. Thanks again. Thanks, Bob.